Hey guys, um, just continuing to talk around some of my thoughts on maybe where we, the body of Christ, have kind of aimed in the wrong direction. We have maybe, maybe pursued the wrong things and something that has really been highlighted to me um, in this last season is where I as a leader, where I have gone after quantity instead of quality. And what has just been really, I've been challenged with is just the basic call that was given to the church to go forth and make disciples. And I feel like we have gone for growth instead of going for discipleship. And you might think, well, isn't that the same? And it's actually not in how we have walked it out. I believe that we have built in such a way that we have, hey, how can we get people into the door? How can we do our meetings in such a way where, ah, we'll attract this type of person. It comes down to how do we dress? It comes down to how do we communicate? Length of service. And we've built our churches, many of them, on this idea of of growth how do we get more people into the room how and and how do we grow the church how do we measure how we're doing it's by we measure our numbers not for the quality of believer that is growing in our church and then what i was confronted with was Dwayne, how do then i disciple and if i am called to go forth and disciple what does that look like I'm very comfortable standing up in front of a church and teaching, but what does it look like to sit with three individuals and walk with them for a year? And what I'm discovering is that many know how to actually preach and teach, but I don't know, as Paul said, if there are many fathers amongst us. And a father is one that will sit down and go on a year-long journey and meeting and just to talking, discipling, listening, praying, being quiet, letting people talk. And then every once in a while, give a verse or an idea. Theologically, no, it's way more than just giving four classes on a Sunday morning. Hey, you're discipled. It is walking people out of sin into righteousness, into maturity, into strength. And I want you guys to know that I have repented of this, where I have chosen growth over quality, quantity over quality. And I have fallen short in even some of the things that I have led forth in. And I'm not saying everything I've done is bad. I am not in that camp. But I am saying one thing where I am shifting my paradigm is I am wanting to produce something of maturity and strength. And what came to mind and I've been focusing on is Paul's encouragement to the church at Corinth in chapter three of 1 Corinthians three, verse 10, he says, according to the grace of God, which was given to me as a wise and master builder, I have laid the foundation, another has built on it, but let each one take heed how he builds. For no other foundation can anyone lay that which is laid, which is Christ Jesus. And so Paul, he approaches it. I'm a builder. I'm building the body of Christ. And how he approaches it, he says this. The foundation of what I'm going to build upon is the cross and the resurrection is the gospel, is the story of Jesus Christ. That's the foundation that I am laying as a wise builder. It is not a certain type of church. It is not a certain model. It is Jesus. And then I'm going to build their lives upon the understanding that we were sinners, we were lost, we were deceived, and we were headed for eternal death in hell. Because of the cross, because of the crucifixion, because of the broken body and the blood of Jesus, you now can turn to him in repentance, ask for forgiveness, and from that place you are born again. You will never die, for life has come to you. And that life came through the cross and the resurrection. 
and you build their life not on lights, not on worship, not on a type of meeting, not on a brand of a church. You build it on the gospel. And as that story of the truths of the gospel come alive in you, that's the foundation that you build something that produces gold and silver and precious stones, as Paul said. And so for me, I want to no longer be have the big as my aim. I want to have the quality as my focus. I want to be a wise builder. And today, I feel like in some areas, I'm just a a new builder. But I want to be a wise builder that builds something within the hearts of people that is of eternity and will not be shaken when another COVID-19 hits the globe. This is one of the places where I'm saying I need change and I believe we, the body of Christ, need change. Hey, God bless you guys. Thanks for listening to my rants. And uh, I'm asking, Lord Jesus, help us. For you love us. Now come and speak to us, I pray. In the name of the Lord, amen. God bless you guys.